Hi, Nick here. I have made this video because of comments I had on my other video that was about the golden ratio. Even though that video is based totally on physics, the comments are mostly about our belief in God and its effect on how we try and explain the physical nature of our universe. It is true that a belief in God can totally distort physics. It is also true that a belief in God could give us faith that we can understand the universe using physics. Michael Faraday was a good example of this when most people thought electric and magnetism was beyond our understanding. He never did, mainly because of his belief in God. This can be based on the idea that God would not create a universe that we could not understand. The problem is that a belief in God is normally paramount in someone's belief system, and this can lead to very bad physics. What I don't like is when God fills in the gaps in our understanding of the universe. This is like using consciousness to explain what we don't understand when we don't really have an understanding of consciousness. This can happen without a belief in God. There are many that are happy to say we have a virtual reality and that everything is consciousness. I believe we lose something important and beautiful about the nature of our universe by explaining it in this way. As someone who believes in God, I believe there is that of God in everyone and everything. This is an old Quaker idea. Because this is paramount in my belief system, I have to guard against it distorting my physics that is based totally on geometry represented by mathematics and the observations of experiments. But in people of this belief system there is a kind of reflection between physical reality and spirituality. This can be seen in the scientific work of people like Walter Russell and even Newton and it is logical that if there is a God we would see a similarity between spirituality and physical reality. This can be based on the idea that the oneness that the mystic feels in meditation is the same unity that we have in mathematics and physics. Even in the geometrical process explained in these videos, the idea of sacred geometry is the potential ideal of the geometrical process in its most perfect form. Anyway, I would like to know what you think. Everyone has their own personal view, and I'd like to start a discussion. Bye for now, Nick.